In this video, I'm going to find a function phi such that grad phi is equals to 3x squared plus y cubed plus y exponent of xyi minus 2y squared plus 3xy squared plus x multiplied by exponent of xyj. So we are given a grad phi there. We want to find the phi. In this case, uh, the, that grad phi is uh, two variables there, x and y. So we'd know that by definition, our grad phi is uh, the one which has two components, grad phi is equals to the partial derivative of phi with respect to xi plus the partial derivative of phi with respect to y j. So we are having those are two equations there with the grad phi on the left hand side. And I'll go on and label the first one equation number one and the second one I'll call it equation number two. And then go on and compare equation one and two. On the left hand side we are saying they are equal but if you look at this part the component where we have the i here and the component where we have the i there. So we'll be equating those and we have partial derivative of phi with respect to x is equals to 3x squared plus y cubed plus y exponent of xy. And then if we look at uh, the component where we have the j, we are having this one here for the j and in equation 2 we are having this part here. So by comparison we'll be having partial derivative of phi with respect to y is equals to minus 2y squared plus 3xy squared plus x multiplied by exponent of uh, xy. So we now have uh, those uh, two equations there. But if we are looking at uh, this equation here, we can now uh, go on and integrate it so that we get our phi. So we integrate this equation that I've highlighted, integrate it with respect to x. And then we would have phi of xy is equal to x cubed plus xy cubed plus exponent of xy plus a constant of integration g1 of y. We are saying g1 is a function of y. We are saying that it's a function of y just because we are having a partial derivative with respect to x. Our constant of integration is in terms of a function of y. And then I go on and look at uh, this partial derivative here. When we have a derivative and we need the function, we integrate. So we integrate uh, that highlighted part with respect to y and we get phi of xy is equal to minus 2 over 3 y cubed plus xy cubed plus exponent of xy plus g2 of x. We are saying that's a function of x. That's our constant of integration. It's a function of x just because we were having a partial derivative with respect to y. So we have uh, those are two equations and I will label the other one there, equation number 3. Then the other one I'll call it equation 4. Then go on and compare equation 3 and 4. The left hand side is the same, the phi of xy. But if you look at this part here, x y cubed plus exponent of xy, it's here again, x y cubed exponent of xy. That part is the same. But in equation 1, we are having a g1, a function of y only. It's corresponding to this one here. That's a function of y only. So if we are saying that's uh, the g1 there, the minus 2 over 3 y cubed, our phi of xy would then become x cubed plus xy cubed plus exponent of xy minus 2 over 3 multiplied by y cubed. So we have obtained the phi of xy which gave us the gradient that was given there. But if we want to look at uh, if and the g2 is there, the g2 of x, which you are saying is a function of uh, x only. The function of x only is this one there, the x cubed, which is in equation 1, which will still give us the same value if we substitute the x cubed on the part that we have, the g2 there, the function of x only, which is x cubed. So it will give us this same equation, phi of xy is equal to x cubed plus xy cubed plus exponent of xy minus 2 over 3y cubed.